What's up guys, Gamer Gush here, and welcome back to Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Uh, my friends are no longer here, they went home of course. Anyways, last time we started off this game, we learned the basics, and um, Peach has been kim kidnapped, and, and we, went, we also explored Holly Jolly Village, and now we gotta rescue Mario, the grown-up Mario and Luigi. Anyways. <clears throat> Time to show these alien jerks what the Koopa Cruiser can do. Fire the Koopa Cannon. Fire. Fire. Whoa ha ha I'm just so dang evil. I hope they felt honored to be shot down by me. You're the best, Prince Bowser. You're a Koopa's Koopa. Whoa ha ha Hey, you call that piloting? Pay attention, Sky Nerd. Prince Bowser, there, four o'clock. Those villagers are under shroom attack. Your, your orders? Should we help them? Aw oh, man, it's half past snack time already. We, we saw nothing. Everybody clear on that? Great boogly boogly! The princess does not approve of this! Young Master Bowser, abandoning these those folks. Abandoning those folks is re reprehensible. Jesus. My ears! Sure ruin us all! Fine, I'll help them. If it'll just shut her up, Koopa Cannon Fire! There, Abby, you two take care of things from here. Go get them, Red. You too, Greeny. Young Masters, if you would, please go check on those unfortunate villagers. That, I believe, we make the princess most pleased, and perhaps avoid future tantrums. I shall wait right here for your no doubt triumphant return. Tally ho, and all that. Okay, so let's go help our brothers, Mario and Luigi. Is there anything in here? It's to save. Ah, uh, we don't need to save. We literally just saved. Oh man, I miss these items. Wow. The babies can't jump as high as the other two. The Lodge Bros, as I would like to call it. Okay, where are you all at? Okay, I went past them, apparently. <sighs> I missed that item, too. I can't even go back and get these, because... Once... Okay, there they are. Once we save these guys, then we're moving on to a new world, I think. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Okay, here we go. Young Master Luigi. I feel I should tell you that young Luigi's action command. Use the Y button. Press the Y button just before enemy attack. I'm not gonna actually skip the tutorials this time. It was... I shouldn't have done that last episode. It's just my friends were here, and I don't think they were comfortable just hearing all those tutorials. Anyways, Young Masters, let's give you to some bros items, shall we? These items require you to attack as a duo. Please, you two, take these green shells. Alright, please, as you both can see, the bros item block has appeared in your commands. Use the green shell according to the on-screen directions when you choose it. Indeed, pay close attention so that you may master the nuances in no time. Please choose uh, this one and then green shell, X, and then Y. X, Y. Z, 
simple as that. And we'll do the same with baby Luigi. That was rather close, eh? Now that I see these villagers close up, they bear a striking resemblance to the two of you. But who knows when more of those awful aliens will return? I believe it's best. To, oh, whoops. I believe it best to take these two to the Bowser's ships. Those monsters. Their arrival seems like a horrible dream. It was all so sudden. Foul parasites from the shrewd planet, land of utter creepiness. Their purpose is oh so clear. They wish to take all we hold and dear in the Mushroom Kingdom, our land, our very lives. Is in ruins, our beloved castle as well. F flee, flee! We must escape. The castle is lost. Prince Bowser here, come in, Kevin. Get the Koopa Cruiser here on the double. My prince! Would you look at that? Yeah! Prince Bowser lets Hightail it out of here. And that is how the princess and I were rescued by Master Bowser. Odd as that sounds. And now almost all of the Mushroom Kingdom has fallen under shrewd control. Status report your badness. We are currently on approach to Princess Peach's castle. Our once beautiful castle. No, look at it now. Oh my. No doubt. Those fiends call it Shrewd Castle. Rumor has it their leader is there. Princess Shrewd. Eh? What's that, you say? Princess Peach is being held prisoner in the castle? Oh, surely you jest. The princess is quite safe and sound right here with me. Hmm? I beg your pardon? The future Princess Peach? The future Master's Mario and Luigi? Ho ho ho, you poor fellows. You've gone a bit daffy, eh? Your noggins must have gone bonk. Perhaps a nap? Status report. Now. Your foulness. We're receiving some sort of transmission from Princess Peach. I mean, Shrewd Castle. A transmission? Put it on the monitor. Let's see what's up. Who is this hag? Th that must be Princess Shrewd, undoubtedly. Does anyone have any idea what she's blabbing about? A a Prince Bowser from Shrewd Castle. It's a Shrewd Missile, and it's heading straight for us. Whoa, a vast of action for the cannon. N no ammo. What? You're fired. Get it? <laughs> fired. Direct hit! Those alien dirt bags, we gotta hold it together until we get back home. <laughs> Look at 
we go. It's just one disaster after another with you two, isn't it? Well, my keen detection skills don't pick up anyone else in the immediate vicinity. Perhaps they were all thrown clear by the crash. What with the destruction and its loading? According to my ultra radar, a new time hole has appeared somewhere in this castle. I think it may be advisable to find the time hole and return to our own time for now. Okay, let's go find the baby bros. We're gonna save right here though. we can battle. Unfortunately, I miss. I'd like to take down as much enemies as possible. That's the better the defeating enemies, the better the grinding. The better the grinding, the better the more level ups. Better at counterattacking, that's for sure. So, anyways, we're at Bowser's Castle. Gotta find the baby bros. They're here somewhere. Just, I think they're at the very top of this area. I could be wrong. And I don't think we're gonna be going through this whole castle in this video. I might split it up. But, uh, we'll see. We just got a mushroom up there too. So this is a really fun game. Um, actually, I, I didn't mention this, but pretty. This is probably one of the easiest Mario RPGs in my. Opinion. Well, actually, no. I, I I could be making this easier than than it should be. But like I. I don't think I ever got a game over on this game. The other ones I have, but not this one. It's probably because there's four. Well, we'll get into that in a little bit. Oh no, it's a boo! Yeah, I knew I, was, I jumped too early. So when he peeks out his left eye, he's gonna attack Mario. If he peeks out the right one, then he's gonna attack Luigi. I meant to say left. Then he's gonna attack the machine. That right is Mario. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, another Goomba. Come here. Let's go. I'm not using my Bros attack. Actually, this game works different when it comes to Bros items. That's the only game that's different with Bros items. So take a look. You have 15 green shells, you don't actually use BP in this game, which is weird. But I like that idea. Because you don't have to use maple syrup. Well, I mean, I do like the idea with maple syrup, but... Okay, we can't get beans yet. I, I... Okay, he's gonna attack Mario. Now Luigi. Aya! Gotcha. Man, I feel like we should have leveled up by now. I miss an item. Two mushrooms. Sounds good to me. Okay, now we gotta walk on the sliver path. Which is not too hard. There we go. Moving on. Okay. Yeah, this one. Oh, I thought the babies were up top. But I haven't... It's been a while since I played this game, actually. Oh, jeez, a spike ball.
<laughs> Babies! They can't get down. Oh. Mario. Perhaps it should use me as a sort of cushionation, cushionation device. I am, of course, something. Baby Luigi would likely feel reassured by the sight of my luxurious leather. Oh yeah. Let's go. You got this. Come on down. Yeah. We have located and been reunited with the babies. Back to adventure! Come on, I don't want them. Okay, fine. Mario! Allow me a brief apology. I was rushing. I forgot to mention how to move as a group of four! You see, the babies are unable to understand my communicating. What a situation. Hmm. Babies! Babies! That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Making a silly face. Yippee! Yeah! And hey. Luigi! Get busy. There we go. Yes, they are not helpless. I suggest the four of you join forces and move on. Oh, wait a moment. Yes, we're sitting as a group of four is rather vital. Look at the upper right hand part of the screen. Well, when the icons look like this, Mario and Luigi can move. Go on, move about. When you're ready to proceed, let me know. When you want to... When? Juveniles to move on their own, press X or Y. Go on, little humans, move. When you're ready to proceed, let me know. In this way, control switches between the adult Mario and Luigi and the baby-sized ones. Yes, but there is even more information as Ising. And this is extremely convenient. Mario and Luigi can give the babies piggyback rides a move about together. It is simple to do. When Mario and Luigi get near the babies, the tanks climb up automatically. Try it and see. And there you go. Piggyback. The babies can also initiate the move by moving close to Mario and Luigi. Now then, let's go find our poor mission and companions. Missing companions, I'm sorry. Back to adventure. Notice how he says back to adventure a lot? So anyways, yes, we are now all together. We're moving in our group of four. Baby Mario and Luigi on our backs. And I'll tell y'all now. You can't, you can't make this jump. However, well this sign says four play... This is too high for adults to reach. The prince will use X or Y to jump off a minion. Alright. If the prince is successful, the minion will then praise him. Prince Bowser is so rad. Alright, so we'll click Y or X and boom! You can climb up the wall. And if you see a warp pipe like this, the future Mario Bros will come out. Oh, oh, and, or if you... Or the other way around, you can hit the bro... The future Bros can hit the pipe and the baby Bros can come out the pipe, so... Hope y'all got that. Alright, so now we're gonna let the baby bros grab some items. Oh, there's coins. Oh yeah, we can't. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think they would make that jump. Silly me. Okay, I'm like, huh? I think once we enter in that blue pipe, we'll end off the episode. Do, 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 do. 
music so catchy. This is actually Baby Mario's cat, but Mario, Baby Bowser's castle. Kamek Prince. Prince Bowser. Aha. You, you little red and green insects. Didn't I try to kidnap you once? Yeah, I did. Boy, that didn't work out so well. And you don't look quite so little anymore. And you're much hairier, too. Weird. But none of that matters. You, you like bothering or butting the master of evil, do you? Then I'll bother you! It's just this. It's just a Goomba, man. But now it's another time to learn another tutorial. Mario, Luigi, have you ever seen a piggyback move in battle? Oh, it is fantabulous. Let me show you how this action really works. Now, Mario, you attack with a jump, and you follow. Okay, so we... X, and then A. So we can do two jumps on the enemy. And then the same with Luigi. Except you just click Y, and then... B to land. Yeah! Hehehe! <laughs> Hey! Next Rose Islands. I'll show y'all. Okay, so green show. X, B, X, and so on and so forth. B, X, A, X, B, X, A, X. It gets harder later on, and you might screw up. I, I do that sometimes. I click like B instead of A, and it's like, oh, come on, another Goomba. Oh, right, because we have to do the same with Luigi. <laughs> there we go. Yuck! How long do you... How long do I have to do this? I'm in a hurry! Now then. Alright, so y'all got the idea? Good, let's move forward. By like just jumping on these enemies. Oh wow, that was way too early. Way too early. Apparently that was too early too. Bowser. Ooh, green shell. Boo. New enemy. One of these guys called the Blue Guys, and they launch bullet bills on top of their heads. I should have used a green shell, but once you jump on it, it their can disappears. I meant to attack the shot guy. Oh, we got a lucky hit to kill the Blue, though. That's cool. Okay, so when there's smoke comes out of it, then a bullet comes out. Okay. And if there's no smoke, then it comes out faster. What I meant to say was, I thought I was thinking of a different enemy, but if the... Yeah, I'm thinking of Superstar Saga. If there's smoke coming out of the cannon, then the bullet bill will move slowly. If there isn't, then it's going to move in a faster way. Luigi, don't mess this up. Thank you. Just gonna spawn another one. Man, see, I am. Okay, we're gonna have to use a mushroom. We got 30 though, oh my gosh. 
Oh yeah, we use our first mushroom in this playthrough eventually. Didn't think I would use it this quick though. I got three out of that, apparently. <laughs> How in the world did I do that? That was insane. Into the blue pipe. But you know what? We are actually going to end the video off right here. So if you guys enjoyed, the like button is your friend. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all tomorrow for some more Thousand Year Door. As always. And next time we're kind of finish off this area as 